Well, hello, St. Louis, and welcome to This Week on STL. It is the weekly rundown of events happening in and around St. Louis. I'm Rick Anthony, and this is for the week of Monday, April the 7th. And it's brought to you by our good friends at the office of McBrearty, Hart, and Kelly. They've been proudly helping clients in the St. Louis area with automobile accidents, insurance defense, workman's comp defense, and a whole lot more. You can visit their website, McBrearteyLaw.com. It's M-C-B-R-E-A-R-T-Y-L-A-W.com. This is the final week to check out the rep's presentation of Noises Off. It's 8 o'clock nightly at the Virginia Jackson Browning main stage in the Loretto Hilton Center in Webster Groves. Monday at 3.15 is the Cards home opener with a three-game series against the Cincinnati Reds. Michael Waka pitches for the Cards. It is a 3.15 game time on Monday, a 7.15 game time on Tuesday, and a 12.45 businessman special on Wednesday. And just a reminder, it's Magnet Schedule Night on Monday and the 2013 League Championship pin on Tuesday. Tuesday kicks off a couple-week run of Once at the Fabulous Fox Theater, the winner of eight 2012 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. Our Blues are home and in action against the Washington Capitals on Tuesday night. They have a couple of games left in the regular season. They take on Alexander Ovechkin and the return of Yaroslav Halak. That's happening uh, Tuesday. The Blues are having the best record that they've ever had. Root them on to victory and then on to the playoffs. We skip ahead to Thursday night where our local friends plush over here on Locust Street will have Reverend Horton Heat in an 8 o'clock performance. Along with special guests, Derek Dickerson and Necromantics. I'm sure you remember this band from the 90s. They had the song Possum Kingdom. Toadies are back in town. Pageant at uh, 8 o'clock on Thursday night if you want to check them out. The Gateway Convention Center in Collinsville is going to be a buzz this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Anime St. Louis 2014. It is 3 to 11 on Friday. 10 till midnight, 10 a.m. till midnight on Saturday, and 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. on Sunday. About a decade ago, these guys were known as the Dukes of R&B, all for one. Grammy winners will be at the Hotel Lumiere for a couple of shows on Friday night. There's a 7 o'clock and a 10 o'clock performance. Cardinals take on the arch-rival Chicago Cubs for three games starting Friday. It's a 7-15 game on Friday, a 1-15 game Saturday and Sunday. Friday is a Michael Waka bobblehead. Saturday is the National League Championship ring. And on Sunday is the Molina Wainwright Golden Glove Award. Be sure to get some tickets, if you can, for the Cards and the Cubs this weekend. Friday night at Powell Symphony Hall in the Grand Center, Christian superstar Michael W. Smith. He's been around for a long time, performing some great Christian music. 7.30 at Powell Symphony Hall. Friday, this guy, I think, put on one of the best concerts I have ever seen. The Piano Man, Billy Joel, Scott Trade Center, 8 o'clock performance. Get yourself some tickets. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Now, if you're a country fan, you need to head on out to the River City Casino to check out Gloriana. They wrap up uh, Friday night. Saturday, a great Christian concert at the Family Arena out there in St. Charles. It's the Casting Crowns Thrive Tour, 7 o'clock, out there at the Family Arena. Now, this is pretty interesting. Remember Ben Folds of Ben Folds 5? He is doing two concerts. One is with the St. Louis Symphony at Powell Hall on Saturday night. That's a 7.30 performance. And then on Sunday, he's doing it acoustic. Same place, Powell Symphony Hall. Ben Folds with the St. Louis Symphony Live at Powell Hall. If you need a couple of good laughs, well, Chelsea Handler will be at the Scott Trade Center on Saturday night, 8 o'clock. She'll definitely help you get your funny boat on. Now, if you can't get tickets for Chelsea, head on out to the St. Louis Comedy Festival at the Chaffetz Arena. A lot of great acts performing there, 8 o'clock at the Chaffetz Arena on Saturday night. Now, don't forget, Sunday kicks off Holy Week. It is Palm Sunday, so don't forget that. Make sure you don't miss church services. And it is also the last home game before the playoffs for our St. Louis Blues. They take on the pesky Detroit Red Wings, who are trying to get a spot in the playoffs. The Blues, Red Wings, it's an 11 30 game. It's an early game out there at the Scott Trade Center. We say, let's go, Blues. As always, a lot of information right there to keep you informed on what's going on around St. Louis. I invite you to go to the OnSTL.com page. You go to the People tab and then go down and find that uh, This Week on STL. And there's a printout right there that you can keep and check out throughout the week. 
for this week on STL, I'm Rick Anthony. 